Hi, I'm Jeremiah Letourneau, and on today's adventure, we're hiking the Superior Hiking Trail from Gooseberry Falls to Tedaguchi State Park. So here we are, here it begins. We're, uh, in, the, we're in the truck, about to hit the road, and then uh, we're hiking up. Smoke it flies from whiskey mouths, vagabonds walk this suitcase town. Summer left us beckoning, the cottonwoods were all worn out. Night comes fixing on the day, and the universe rained again. Find a flickering light while you sleep. Hey, hey, hey. So here's recap number one, I guess. Um, so this morning, we so we slept in Adam's bed of his truck. So I sit up, and what did we see, Adam? Uh, just a worker at the state park. Yeah, we weren't actually supposed to be there, so oops, a daisy. But he didn't kick us out, he just went back to work, I guess. Um, and then we got ready. Um, then as we're hiking along the trail, we got to the waterfall, that was really pretty. Um, but then we saw all the detours for the trail. So we're actually not on the trail. What is what's it actually called? The Gichigumi. Gichigumi, yeah, that's what it is. So that's what we're taking, taking that up kind of as a detour up until we get there. But we stopped along the, the lake and that's it. Pretty beautiful. Pretty little neat. Living in the city on fire, life been fine. It's dancing junk above the street, me the ghost. Okay, so we're on Blueberry Hill Trail. How far do you think we've got today so far? Um, see, probably like three and a half miles, I think, maybe four. Do you think total? I think maybe more. Think so? I mean, two I feel miles. like we're going about two miles an hour. We started at nine. Oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's only like eleven o'clock. So. So we found this beautiful waterfall, as you can see, it is pretty gorgeous. Uh, we were coming around on the trail set, just saw some people down here and dipped down here, we went swimming right in there, it's, it's awesome. So we got about 1.8 miles left, and then we're at a trail spot, and then we get to just relax. Hopefully, you know, there's not a lot of people there. There could be, but who knows? So uh, the day's awesome. It's only 1 o'clock, and we have a lot of day left. So far we are almost to our site and uh, the entire time on this last leg has been along waterfalls and rivers. It's pretty neat. So we're coming up on one here. I'll take another picture of it. Um, but we're trying to beat everybody on campsites because it's just about the time that everybody starts showing up. So don't really exactly know if 
where it is, how far, close we are. We know we're getting close, but hopefully we can get there and get a campsite. We'll see. Driving through the graveyard, the suitcase full of sparks. Honey, I'm just trying to find my way to you. Lit up every campfire, found out in the cool. dark. Oh, look at this. There's this uh, spot coming up here. This is going to be cool. Uh oh. Here it is. I picked up all the arrowheads, drove buffalo trails, the Indian, the old buffalo, the sky was shining blue. Along the tracks with the runaway, he just talks and talks and talks. Yeah, I'm just trying to find my way to you. So here we are. We made it to our campsite. We got it all set up. We even took a nap in our hammocks. And now, it's supper time. You get old four for five dollars. These will do. So, uh, here we got our supper boiling, putting our water in it. Then we're gonna cook it up. And then uh, once we're done eating, I'll give you guys a quick tour of our view, as well as our site. I swam across the matcha, took a train. So here's our site. This is it. I think we got a pretty cool setup. So we got a clothesline here. We got our two hammocks. And then we got our emergency shelter if we need it, which is our tarp. And that's about it. But the beautiful part is this. This is kind of the recap for the night. We're not going to really do one later tonight, at least that I know of. Yeah. But, uh, so this is our hammocks. This is the spot. And uh, we just had supper, and we showed you the sights tonight. So tomorrow's going to be kind of a long day. It's going to be probably... I'm guessing more closer to like 11 or even 12. I'm, I'm guessing by the longest. Mm -hmm. um, However, we did do extra today. That is true. So it's probably close to the same. Yeah. So we'll find out. I guess you know the best way to find out is by doing it. Um, so that's that. We'll look at the maps and start early in the morning and see you out there. So here we go. Day two. Day two. We're out here, we're all leaving the campsite. These are our, uh, our wonderful guests that stayed with us as well. Um, and uh, so today is going to be that long day. It's going to be about 13 miles, we're guessing. Um, so we're leaving here at 9 o'clock, so we'll see you guys along the trail. So how's the trip going so far, Adam? Pretty good. Yeah, what's, the high, what's your favorite part so far? Uh, either the Blueberry Hill overlook we saw at Lake Superior or... That was really pretty. Yeah, the bench by Lake Superior was pretty nice. The bench? Go right down to the shore. Oh, and yeah. Right on the Gitchigumi Trail. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, cool. I don't know. Our, uh, our little campsite buddies were pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, he had, their names were Will and he had a dog and CC, and so both of them are going down, are they both going to this berry? Uh, Will's going to that bench, I'm sorry, but Oh, he is? Bench. Okay, cool. So yeah, so they were really cool, and it was nice to have people that are just interesting and just from a different background. They're both from the city, so it's cool to talk to them. So yeah, that was kind of my highlight, actually. Is
what's the part predicament we're in, Adam? Not enough water. Not enough water. Too much sun. Too much sun. Too nice of days. <laughs> Too nice of days. Yeah. How far away are we from water, do you think? Who knows? Who knows? 24 hours, 72 hours, three days? Another movie coming up. <laughs> Two hikers lost. Superior hiking trail. He's good and he's bad and he's all that I got. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I'm begging you, please don't take this. Okay, so we uh, just took our lunch on Christmas Tree Ridge, and as you can kind of tell, it is called Christmas Tree Ridge for a reason. I think Santa Claus might live up here during his summers, so kind of feels like home for him, I bet. <laughs> so we're on Christmas Tree Ridge. Uh, we don't have that much longer, probably about a mile to our next campsite. Well, to a campsite, not the one we're staying at, but hopefully we need water because all I've got left is probably half a liter and add a problem close. So we're planning it out, probably fine. But. So I don't lose sight of what I want. So we made it up to the top of this. I'm um, not exactly sure which ridge line this is. It's probably getting close to uh, closer to Fault Line Ridge. Uh, but we got a we got a man down back there. <laughs> He's just tired. Uh, we're out of water. Um, we passed up a stream, but it didn't look the most safe, so we passed on that one, knowing that we're probably going to come up on another one. But we're on top of this ridge, and it is quite the view. It's pretty beautiful. So there is a stream down that way, but. I don't know if we're going that way or not, so pretty beautiful. Pretty little neat. Right in front of me. You talk some sense to me. And I'll use you as a makeshift game. to give and how much to take oh, I'll use you as a warning sign that if you talk enough sense then you'll lose your mind oh, and I found love where it wasn't supposed to be right in front Hikers alive made it on top of Fault Fault Ridge Line. We battled through no water, battled through a bad watered pond of beaver water, and uh, eventually filled up and we got here. So now this is on the top of Fault Fault Ridge Line, and uh, on top of some really cool boulders. We had to actually boulder up some stuff, and then we got a beautiful view up here too. So. We're about three miles away, so we're getting close, but we are tired and we're gonna enjoy the campsite. We're pretty good news that we're not, it's a uh, campsite right next to a waterfall, so we're looking forward to that. Well, good morning, USA. We got a we had a couple close calls, we should say. So we thought we were getting close. We passed the campsite, and we we're like, "Oh man, that means you know that our site's really about a half a mile away." 
So, turned to Adam, we were out of water at that point. We were out of water for probably two miles or so. After we already filled up, we were like, oh yeah, that's all we'll need. Um, turned to Adam, I'm like, hey, should we fill up? And he's like, nah, we're, we're close. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, let's just keep pushing hard. We go up and then realize that we're five miles away still from any water. And, well, it, the water that we would pass was like, Two miles back. Two miles back or like completely like fecal matter infested by beavers. So we're like, let's not risk it. So we hiked all this way and the Adam's like falling down because he's almost like passed out and almost dying. <laughs> we're like trying to really try to figure out what we're gonna do. We just end up pulling water from this little stream that I mean it's questionable, but at the point who really cares because it's we needed water. But so we're about half a mile away from our site. We are really looking forward to good water and a good night's rest, I think. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. So me and Adam, we made it. We are alive and well and we made it to our campsite. There's a few other people here that beat us to it, but you know, we still got our spot. So this, we're setting up our hammocks right now. This is kind of it, I'll give it to her a little later. With my friends Where the women Can't follow Can't see Hey, so it's supper time. And uh, as you can hear, the great water that is behind us. This is our scenery for supper. You really can't get any better than this. What do you think today, Adam? I thought the game was a little rough. Why? Points. Why? Like the new water. Yeah. Most of it. I'd have to agree. It was probably like what, ten miles of that water? Yeah, it was ten miles of like two liters of water. But yeah. Each. Yeah. 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 So it was tough. So over here, and uh, the kind of the great thing is we got some guests along with us today. So. What's your guys' names? Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm Hannah. Robin. I'm Carly. And it's our first time backpacking. It's your first time backpacking? It Seriously? Is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Okay, so where are you guys originally from? We're from St. Paul. Roseville. There's so many people that we met from Roseville. Or not Roseville. The city, this whole trip. Yeah. Where are you from? We're from Lincoln. Okay. Cool. Very cool. So what do you guys think? I love it. Yeah. yeah. How far did you guys go like over your entire trip so far? Uh, okay, so we went one mile the first night. And we had like 10 miles yesterday. You did 10 yesterday? Wow. Oh, really? yeah. And then um, <laughs> things were angular a lot. Okay, so you got to come up, tell us this great story on how you rolled it. Or what you did. <laughs> how you broke it, how you fought a cougar. Well, Carly fell down the racks. Okay. And I was laughing at her, and then I rolled my ankle. <laughs> Karma. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so what are you guys having for supper? Um, we are having rice noodles with peanut sauce. sauce, garlic, and soy sauce, I think. Wow, you guys are yeah. living luxury. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah, well, these are our guests. They let us stay with them. And they actually said uh, later tonight, we might, there's a chance, have a... Uh, Northern Lights. We've got to stay up. We'll see if we can actually stay up that late just to see them. So, see you guys later tonight. Well, a good morning. This is another day in the life of Jeremiah on the Lake Superior Trail. Uh, so this is, wanted to show you our campsite before we headed out in the morning here. And uh, well, this is what it's gonna look like. So we have a fire pit that's right there. That's my tarp. And then 
that's Adam's. And there's actually a bathroom back there. And I'll take a picture of that so you guys kind of have an idea of what it looks like. So it's pretty beautiful out here actually, alongside the river. Uh, we get the whole waterfall the whole night. We didn't see Northern Lights, which is kind of a bummer, but instead we had, had some awesome talks with those four girls that stayed with us. It was really fun to listen to them, kind of hear their story, get their input on things. So it's always interesting the people that you meet out here because you never really know what you're going to meet. So we were pretty lucky to kind of camp here. So today's going to be kind of a short day. So we're looking forward to it, about eight miles. Uh, and then we're at uh, Bear Lake, which is going to be the night that I, I hope Hope that we catch fish. So, I'll see you guys on the trail. Howdy, howdy. Hey. Here's the check-in for part of the day so far. We've been hiking for about an hour, an hour or so. We're just short of an hour. So what have you seen so far, Adam? Mm, not too much in terms yeah. of wildlife. Not too much. Here. Yeah. I don't know if it's, there's spots in where we're talking a lot and they were quiet for a while, but really, we've seen a couple squirrels. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But we've seen, there was this big thousand footer that was out on Lake Superior. And we were kind of racing it. Well, I was kind of racing it. It destroyed us. It was far, pretty far away. Um, but we're just kind of tracking along the trail. Just kind of taking it easy today. Um, we should be there. My guess is around two o'clock. So so far, it's going pretty well. So we're taking a quick break. Uh, we're checking out the map, grabbing some snacks. Maybe possibly take a quick two hour long nap. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we're just checking the map and just seeing how things are going and trying to figure out where we're at for sure. Um, but today's going really strong, just a lot of uphills. So that's tiring after a long day yesterday. So but things are going great. Hang in there. Sweet Mary Jane won't you lay me down Lost my heart in California Lost my mind Shot me down with a revolver Don't know if I pointed out, but Adam is an awesome pal and saw these sunglasses on the trail. Pulled them off a branch. And usually that stuff is there for people that lose it. Um, but, you know, there's haven't seen a lot of people out here today, so I kind of snagged them because I needed sunglasses. So, hopefully, you who lost these sunglasses, I hope you're not watching this video, because these are probably yours. Um, we got about three miles left to go, probably two and a half left, uh, until we're at our site. And it's awesome. Had a little rain, shedded that. So we shedded our layers, and it's a beautiful day. So I'll be high at 78, and it's 4th of July. So happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, we'll hopefully uh, maybe even see some fireworks today. That'd be kind of cool. Where I do 
skinny dipping. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, right down there is our lake we're going to. So we're about, I don't know, about a half hour away. We're gonna be down there and hopefully it's gonna be awesome. I do see a beaver down there, a beaver dam. So, usually if there's a beaver dam, there's sometimes fish. So that's looking good. See you guys soon. She shot me down with the revolver. She got me high. The man came on the radio said the So Adam, tell me what you were just saying. So what we thought was Bear Lake was not Bear Lake and it wasn't Bean Lake either. Uh, Bean Lake <laughs> yep. is over there and Bear yep. Lake is over there. So there's Bear Lake. So we hiked past it, like the, the campsites on Bean Lake, and then we're like, oh, it must just go down somewhere over here on the opposite side of the lake. Nope, it just keeps just going, going up. <laughs> But so now we're getting close to Bear Lake because we know that it is Bear Lake for sure. Um, and then our campsite's down there. So yeah, if we're working harder maybe. than we need to, maybe. <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe it keeps going. <laughs> down that yellow brick road. Well, the great Finky and I made it finally to Bear Lake. This is our spot. Pretty beautiful. So we're gonna be here for two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. We'll do some fishing, some relaxing, some sleeping, some cooking. And they, we did find a way down that way, a canoe that looks stranded. So I'm gonna check it out, because if there's a canoe and it's, there's nobody around. It might be a straight canoe. We might bring it back home. Who knows? So that's kind of our adventure here. So we'll check back with you guys during supper. Hey, this is Jeremiah talking from uh, Bear Lake out on Superior Hiking Trail. Um, and as you saw earlier, this is our beautiful view that we get for the next day. Um, but I also wanted to kind of show you guys around camp. So we're still kind of cleaning up here. But here's our fire pit. Um, and then back there, they actually have a bathroom. Up there is where we're hanging our food. As you can see, a great big tree there. And this is kind of the cool part. So, to save space, me and Adam decided to double bunk our hammocks. So we have a tarp up there because it's supposed to rain tonight. Uh, or not tonight, uh, tomorrow. And it also blocked some of the sunshine. So we double stacked them, put the tarps there, and we should be good. If not, you know, we can always change up the setup, so this is our place. It sure is beautiful. Welcome to Minnesota. So this is kind of my chance to reflect on the trip. Um, Adam decided to take a nap. So in the meanwhile, I kind of prepared camp a little bit, did a little fishing. Um, haven't caught anything yet, so I'm not losing hope yet. Um, but starting kind of from day one, the trail, trail was really pretty. It was a great walk, I'll tell you that. It was a really great hike. Um, and, but the only downside was the detour that kind of set us around on a different route. Um, so with that, I, I was a little disappointed because I wanted to do the whole trail, but you know, that's part of the hike is you got different trails you're gonna have to take, so you never know. Um, and then the first site was great, fourth site was great, um, the second one wasn't that best, and the third one was a group site. So then as we kind of went on the next day, um, it was a really, it was a tough day not only because it was we didn't have that water but really just because like i mean it was just kind of a boring hike it wasn't a lot to see there was maybe like two good peaks so um i mean that's part of the trail but 
it's kind of disappointing that on our longest day it was kind of a boring day. Um, there was this really cool boulder like that we had to climb over and stuff like that and it was really big. Um, I guess that was kind of the highlight for the second day. Uh, today was the third day. Um, this site is awesome. I'll just that's about it. The entire hike was beautiful. We got to go. It was a lot of hiking uphill, but we at least got to see a lot of really cool uh, summits and views. So I, like even though I've been up here before, like in Duluth and Two Harbors, and like you just don't get to see this stuff, and that's the coolest part. Is you're getting to see things that you never really get to see before. You only get to see stuff from the roadside view, and there's so much more, so much more beauty out here that just people miss out on. So if you ever get a chance, like please come out here, like even if it's for the day, like it's just beautiful. Um, so tomorrow, I mean, we still about half half the trip left, so. Um, spend the night here, and hopefully tomorrow isn't going to be a storm, hopefully not, but there might be. Um, let's stay here again, and then we'll hike out on that next day, and then we'll drive home. So, trip's going great. Loving it out here, even with this guy. Good morning. This is our day off. We are uh, up in Adam. <laughs> Get it? Because Adam's here. Um, Adam has been awake for like the last two hours? Hour? I was up at like 8.30. Okay, he's been up at 8.30. It's like 10 o'clock. I slept a little longer. Bugs were absolutely terrible last night. So we sprayed everything down and that helped. Um, eventually they all went away and then it got cold. So they all went away again. So today we really get to do whatever we want. Probably do some fishing, have breakfast, and just relax. So today is a good day and hopefully avoid the storm. Well, it's about 1.45 in the afternoon on our day off, and so far our day consisted of essentially sleeping, eating, swimming, eating, sleeping, eating, I think, I think we also slept. I think so too. So, we haven't really done a lot today just because it's, it's a lot of energy to do a lot of things and we're just pretty tired. Um, but we did find out that there's a rope swing on the side of the lake, so we'll, I'll probably go check that out. I don't know if Adam said he wants to or not. Uh, we also played poker for about an hour. So. It's been a good relaxing day. Now we're just going to take a nap because we haven't slept. <laughs> See you guys soon. Woo! Cars, cars, <laughs>
Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey. So this is kind of the recap for the night. I'll probably do one right before we go to bed. But kind of recap on the day today. Um, like I said earlier, we did a lot of sleeping. A lot of sleeping. <laughs> a lot of eating. And like we almost are out of food because we are trying to like eat as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So we don't pack it out. Um, legs feel awesome now. And feet, especially feet. Oh yeah. It was like we were walking on nails before. And like blisters and everything, but it's good like now. having like sandpaper grinding on your feet the entire yes. day. Yes. Ugh. But we're good now. Today was a really good day. It was just nice. We literally just bummed around. Not a lot of excuses to do that, but so the rest of the night we're just gonna drink up some water, pump all of our water, pack everything, and then probably hit the sack. So see you guys later. See ya. Tossed in his copper and I watched as it fell But there wasn't any water in the wishing well So, as you can hear, we are in the middle of a storm. It's pretty cool. Uh, we got some lightning, we got some thunder. Uh, we've been watching it come in the last 20 minutes. Uh, but it's pretty windy, and so, so it's kind of pushing the, the tarps and the hammock, but we're pretty good still. Um, pretty cool because it's also during the middle of a sunset, so it's pretty neat. Um, I've never been in a storm in the middle of a hammock, so pretty cool. I'll check back with you guys after the storm. Well, the storm is over. Uh, we made it through it. It's actually quite peaceful now. So I think we're actually going to head to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. On our last day, Tadaguchi, here we come. Put your dreams away for now. I won't see Well, good morning, everybody. We are uh, on our last day. We made it through the storm, as you guys saw earlier. And uh, we're going to be hitting the trail. How far we got today? It's about like six, seven, eight miles. Okay. And then we're at the car, and then we're on our way home. Finale. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry about me Don't you worry Don't you worry Don't worry about me Well, we're still again there. We are about almost to the top of Mount Trudy. So a nice overlook and Adam pointed out, you know, this is called Mount Trudy. And although it's a bunch of hills, I think this might actually be a mountain. There's a, I think there might be actually a few in Minnesota. They're not very tall, but they're still, t compared to everything else, tall. So, we're almost to the top of this thing. We'll see you guys at the top.
dungeons deep and caverns old, we must away a break of day to find our long forgotten. We made it on top of Mount Trudy. We are on top of a giant boulder, and that is our view. There you go. It's pretty beautiful. So, we got two lakes that are down there. Adam's checking what they are right now. That is pretty beautiful. What's it look like, Adam? Um, it's probably Micmac and Tedaguch. There we go. So that's, we have actually made it from Gooseberry all the way to Tedaguch because there's Tedaguch Lake. So it's pretty beautiful. I'm trying to get the lighting here. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, we are almost there. What a view. Mount Trudy, you have done well. One night of magic rush, the start is Well, the trip is coming to an end. There's one awesome adventure we've had out here. We've got about a mile left. But, cannot go without saying, that view at Mount Trudy probably topped the entire trip. It was. How would you describe it? Go and see it yourself. Yeah, that's, I really, that's about all you can say. Honestly, and you know, the kind of the great thing is here is there's this last trail, Ed, that is, what, I think two miles, maybe tops, to get to Mount Trudy. So there's something, if you guys ever get a chance to drive up here to Tedaguch State Park, just take the trailhead up to Mount Trudy. You know, that's, that's worth it alone. If you guys get out and try to do adventurous things, try something different, whether it's, you know, hiking a mile or hiking, bike, uh, hiking 20 miles, like, whether, do what you can do, but just get out here. It's an awesome adventure. Live life. Go, we made it all the way up. You know what? Here's the best part. Now we gotta drive. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more hours. See you later. <laughs>